go from there. It's a choice I need to make. Ladies and gentlemen, call me Zell. God gave me this talent, and I'm like, okay, why should I be selfish with it? I've been dancing actually for about like seven years now. So to me being a dancer, it's, it's a lot, man. It's basically like my life and it's who I became. And what made me start dancing, music videos, influences like Michael Jackson, Usher, Marion now, you know, just getting on the stage as a dancer and be, being able to rap and do what you do, that's like probably one of the best films in the world. Like, it's, that's crazy. As a choreographer and, and as well as a dancer, I have an opportunity to extend my career and um, perform, showcase, or even you know do choreography for up-and-coming artists, existing artists, or you know anybody in the industry, out of the in industry, community, uh, within the state, country. Um, it's it's a it's a really good feeling. I actually had the opportunity to work with BT Rip the Runway, had an experience with Missy Elliott. Missy, she's like the most creative person. I don't even know how far to go, but she's incredible. I did Wyclef's video. I did this show for Fuse TV actually, and Wyclef actually was the headline, and he performed at the end of the show. And I'm standing on the side of the wall, and he's looking. He's like, "Oh, they go Alonzo. Like, he just shot my video last week. Just recently, I uh, did a Comcast commercial." I worked with Tiana Taylor, Little Mama, Usher, that's my dog. Like, even performing on BET for him, just having an opportunity to give a tribute to his album release. the life of a dancer, you know, you get opportunities and options everywhere. For the most part, the first thing that comes to my mind is the music. I take that song, or I take that track, whatever it is, I listen to it. And I actually break down everything in the song. I listen to everything. I hear the beat, I hear the beat in the back of the beat, I hear the little whispers, I hear the ad-libs. And when you're dancing, you're expressing what you hear. So the audience will be able to relate to you if you can put them on the same page, meaning if that music and that move is married to each other and it matches, they will relate to you more. And you have to tell a story. It's so intense and it's so crazy. It's, it's just the skill that develops within. How Rhythm City started was just me believing in what I can do and what I can provide. And my first idea, Came when I did a performance at this college and it was only four of us and they loved us the crowd went crazy and I'm like we had an impact with just four people so you know it was great and I, I the feeling to me felt good you know and I was younger and I didn't know where to go with it so I'm like to start a group you know so we got more people involved we did another show and that show just increased and I'm like I have to keep this going so then I took my talent and I went to a community center started teaching and I see all these kids following me and wanting to learn. I mean, we're talking about kids from the Bronx, from Brooklyn, from the hood. Kids that, that can't afford dance classes, schools in Manhattan or wherever, parents are broken homes and, you know, just situations that's crazy. So I started two separate entities of my own. One is a nonprofit, which is Rhythm City Inc. It's basically my opportunity to give back what I've learned and what I love to people that share the same dream as me. And then I have a for-profit side, which is Rhythm City Entertainment. The entertainment side basically gives the kids the opportunity, me as you know, their manager, to help them get gigs and auditions to experience what it is to be a dancer or choreographer or to book a gig and to be on TV and to perform and to go out there and do what they love. 
what's next for Rhythm City is, I mean, sky's the limit. We, we have so many things on our plate right now. I already have a couple of individual dancers that's doing a, a bunch of things, commercials, and as far as a, a company together, we done traveled around the world. I mean, the, the, the company performed the- so You know, we did a, a bunch of things. The next goal for me, you know, I'm um, just booking jobs so that I can help these kids do commercials and do TV shows and do music videos and, and do choreography for artists and perform on the BET Awards or, you know, whatever it takes us. Like, you know, we really trying to get out there. I have my hands full with a lot of things. Me being an up-and-coming artist myself, I wear so many different hats. I go from managing my artist who just shot her music video and you know recording tracks back into the, the recording studio to write songs because I'm a songwriter, a choreographer, dancer, dancing in the agency, booking gigs and balancing all of this is pretty difficult and I'm just a go-getter. I'm determined, I'm just dope. I just feel like I'm great at what I do and I ain't stopping for nothing for nobody, you know what I mean? That's just me. You're checking out Stars of WWW, home of internet best talent. Stars of WWW.com, the home of the internet's best talent.